Let's lay out our coding sequence. We always start with a record program start card. Next up, we've got forward. And you can see here we've got this green asterisk, which we can add a number card. So this says forward two times. Each time we move forward, it's about six inches or 15 centimeters. We always end a program with a record end program. So you start with a record program start and you finish with a record program end. Then when we're ready to run our code, you use a run program card. Now tap Kaibot onto the start record card and each consecutive card. Note how you have to lift up Kaibot to record each card. Place it on the run card, the countdown begins and off Kaibot goes. Let's see how Kaibot's bug detection system works. First we're going to record this program but we're going to Trick Kaibot and leave out the record end program. Let's see how this goes. Note how we get a bug alert when there's a missing card. So fix your program and record again. There's two ways to charge your Kaibot. Either use your included USB charging cable or use the Kaibot charging dock. To use the charging dock, simply snap in the USB cable, attach to the charging dock, make sure you correct it the right orientation, looking at the charge dock icon, place Kaibot on the charge tile, and he's charging. Once he's full, he'll leave the charging dock. Before you use your Kai tiles, Remember to peel off the protective film. If you've purchased Kai tiles, simply just snap it on to the end of the tile. Note how you need to align them correctly for everything to work. There are different ways you can decorate your Kai tiles. You can use paper or card and insert it in between the magnetic tiles, or use mag tiles. These are available from all leading retail shops and simply just stick them on top uh, because they're magnetic, they just fit perfectly. You can use Kaibot with or without Kai tiles. The benefit of having Kai tiles is Kaibot automatically corrects its position when it's driving on tiles.